Schrödinger's cat is a thought experiment first masterminded by the Austrian scientist Erwin Schrödinger in 1935. It involves putting a cat in a box and imagining whether it's dead or alive. However, when most people think of this famous thought experiment, they think of this. Not surprisingly, Schrodinger's cat has never actually been done as a practical experiment. It's simply a thought experiment for people, mainly scientists, to think about when they don't know the answer to something. It states that a cat is placed in a box with a radioactive substance and a small flask of poison. When radioactive decay is sensed by a hammer, it smashes the vial of poison, which kills the cat. Since you can't tell when or if this is going to happen, after a certain amount of time, you can't tell whether the cat is alive or dead. So Schrodinger says you have to suppose that the cat is both alive and dead simultaneously. Erwin Schrödinger was born in Vienna on the 12th of August in 1887. He came from a religious family but called himself atheist. He studied under Franz Exner, an Austrian physicist, and at the age of 24 became his partner. By 1914, at the age of 27, Schrödinger achieved habilitation, the highest achievement a scholar can get. He married in 1920 and suffered tuberculosis many times in that decade, spending lots of his time in a sanatorium in Switzerland, this being where he developed his famous wave equation. The 30s and 40s also weren't so easy for Schrodinger. As he was known for being against the Nazis and their anti-Semitism, he was fired from his position at the University of Graz. Told not to leave Germany, he secretly fled to Italy with his wife and worked in universities around Europe and the rest of the world. It was in fact while he was working at Princeton in 1935 that he had a correspondence with the great Albert Einstein and proposed his illustration of the Copenhagen problem. This illustration is now known as Schrodinger's cat thought experiment. He also wrote a book in 1944 called What is Life? in which he talks about a molecule which held genes. This is known to have been the inspiration for Watson and Crick, who were part of the discovery of the structure of DNA in 1953. On the 4th of January 1961, he died of tuberculosis at age 73, widowing his wife. He was buried in Alpbach in western Austria. A way this can be connected to a historical example is Pascal's wager. Pascal's wager suggests that if you believe in God, then you'll be fine, because if there is a God, then there is heaven, which is good. If there isn't a God, it doesn't matter. But if you don't believe in God, there is a 50% chance of eternal damnation, because if there is a God, then you run the risk. Although Pascal's wager predates Schrodinger's cat by about 300 years, you can use it as an illustration and use Schrodinger's cat in that context. If you don't know whether or not God exists, you have to assume that God both exists and doesn't exist simultaneously, in which case, if you believe in God, you're fine, but if you don't, you're in trouble. But the Schrodinger's cat thought experiment doesn't just need to be related to absurd quantum mechanics or 400-year-old theories about God. It can also be related to everyday life. For example, if you had to get a friend a present, but you weren't sure if they were a rock musician, or a teddy bear collector. Right here, Deborah. Splendid. behind. Then, according to Schrodinger's theory, we should assume that they are both a rock musician and a teddy bear collector, because if we get them presents that suit both types, we are certain that they will accept one of them. Happy birthday, Ben! Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god! Do you need your titty You're welcome. Happy birthday, Ben! Ah, oh, cheers, man. Hey, what's that over there? Oh, no, cheers. Or here's another example. Let's say you're on a first date, but you didn't know what to get your new date as a present. Maybe they're a crazy chocoholic, or an enthusiastic healthy eater. Oh, thanks. Oh, 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 oh.
The Schrodinger's cat thought experiment suggests that if you imagine that they are both a crazy chocoholic and an enthusiastic healthy eater and therefore bring them both presents, it will be certain that you get one of them right. To conclude, the Schrodinger's cat thought experiment devised in 1935 is something that can be related to everyday life, quantum mechanics as it was meant to be, or the existence of God. Thanks for watching.